Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Sonic Waffles, and today we have a game of Domination on Rundown. And this is actually the second part of Doing Consistently Good, which, uh, you know, is not really a series, but it's a uh, kind of a progressive series, actually it is a progressive series of videos of me doing 2 to 3 ratios, which I did last videos, 5 to 6 ratios about that, and um, and then 10 plus KDRs. Um, now, uh, before I get into this, as I see, just do a spawn to just quick, quick little things, um, which actually I don't suggest doing just because a lot of people end up using one-man army, uh, which I know everyone else will do, so there's no point in saying, oh, don't use one-man army, because I know you will. Um, but quick little things to get you easy kills on the start, whether it's spawn spraying or uh, spawn sniping like on high rise, it's a good option to do. Because if you die, it's not like you're going to be on a kill streak. Um, but yes, going out um, and trying to spawn snipe in high rise in the middle of the game is not a good idea. First of all, because there's no one over there, and you know it's just going to be kind of hard to do. Uh, by the way, do you guys like these color correction settings? Uh, just trying new shit out, trying to make my videos look as good as they can. Because you know I may not have an HD PVR, but hey, um, I want to try to make it look good. Now, um, let's see, what, what was I going to talk about? Okay, yes, um, I have not been posting videos at least recently, it's because football, uh, it's right after school, by the time we get home, it's around, let's see, practice is normal, it's at 6.15, takes about 30 minutes to drive home, and it's about 6.45, eat, take a shower, and do homework, and it's nearly 10 o'clock, and uh, after that I'm pretty whipped. So, um, maybe a little bit of YouTube, just possibly maybe a video, but I'm not going to guarantee anything. Um, I speed up this part, but I, this game's not really uh, sh long, so anyways, main thing that you want to do is actually to slow your gameplay down. And there's and there's not much that I can tell you about this, just because most people, they like to ump rush, they like to do things really quickly, and they like, like instant gratification. Um... And unfortunately, getting 5 to 6 KDRs can't always be like, yes, every once in a while I will get a game of me UM using the UMP or uh, Spaz 12, and I'll go like 46 and 11. Okay, now that's about a 4, but um, I mean, you know, that's pretty it's pretty close to 5 or 6. So, um, you don't get those every game. Okay, it's kind of hard to do those, and especially if you don't use those in the right you know, in the right games or in the right uh, game modes or maps. Hey, the, oh, hey, I get a call. <coughs> uh, kind of six. Kind of sick, not six. Um, next thing is you always want to use an assault rifle, whether or not you're going to a three to six or a four to six kill death ratio or a. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're going for an infinite k kill death ratio or a nuke. Okay, you always want to use an assault rifle because that's what's good in this game. It's a pretty old game as well. Um, can't say these things fast fast enough. I know I skipped my um, uh, intro or my uh, class setup, but I'll put that at the beginning of the video. I'll just like put up a picture of like uh, I don't I don't know what I'll do, but I'll just like try to put a picture of the class setup instead of the loading screen. Uh, anyways, as I was saying. Um, like, I, right here, this spot right here, I know, I think I've mentioned this before on my previous rundown commentary. I use this in all game modes, uh, just because that is a great spot. And, um, kind of a bad decision right here is, I know there's a guy behind there, and even though I do take the, um, like, long way around, I just kind of open up where, you know, there are enemies back here, obviously. At least there, there's always going to be one enemy right here, because I've seen him on the radar. Now, he might have killed, but I do know that there was one enemy right there. Uh, so it's kind of a bad idea of me walking over there because where there's one there are many and um, Luckily for me. I there weren't many um, But uh, what, what am I see now? Well, they have C we have a and B and right there, you know my friend J Voss and my good friend Tafe 33 um, You know th they're doing a really good job keeping them in the spawn and as for me, you know, I went back there, I seen a guy on the radar. I was a very good team player to make sure that they didn't have to leave their choke points. Because they were doing a lot of the spawn trapping. I was doing most of the busy work, you know, catching the people that get by. And uh, watching these bridges. 
Like these two bridges can be covered by this one wall. And it's a great spot that not many people know about. Uh, picking people off with long range, which uh, w which is good. But I kind of got too many kills there, and I, as you can see right there, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a noob too back there. And once I seen the first noob to fly at me, then I knew it was time to get out of there. If you start seeing grenade launchers shoot at you, I know you're going to tell your friends, you know, every once in a while, oh wow, they're going to shoot noob tubes at me. You know, now they're shooting noob tubes, now they're tossing grenades up in here. Stuff like that. You know, you know that you say that stuff, but the thing is, you don't listen to yourself say it and, hey, if they're throwing grenades, why the hell am I not moving? Okay? Um, I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but my dog's barking, that little bitch. Um, no, seriously, she's a female dog, so. Um... And there are people all around here, and I think this is the point where I was yelling at Taylor because he couldn't uh, guard the left bridge, or the no, actually it's the rightmost bridge. If you're uh, standing on top of A and facing C, the bridge on the very right is uh, what, what we call the right bridge when we get the A spawn. Um, but anyways, uh, you always want to run 5711. I know you guys know to run 5711. That's why I have to tell you. Um, but as for this map. Specifically, like, I'm not trying to give many map tips as much as general game tips, which is kind of hard to do since pretty much everyone's covered everything. Um, which, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm in, I'm in the chopper gunner, um, when I shoot at a place, the chopper gunner tries to fly over it. Okay, like, if I'm shooting directly down at C flag, the chopper gunner will attempt to fly over it at C, over directly on top of C. Um, but anyways, as you can see, my teammates, they pushed up way too far and captured C, which is, uh, really bad because once you capture three flags, it's basically a team deathmatch game because they spawn wherever your team is not. So, say your entire team captures C, then they will spawn all the way reverse, the reverse spawning system at A. However, if, you know, you're kind of scattered along, you know, uh, you know, if they're kind of, like, over dot dashed around all half the map, that was really badly worded, but you know what I'm saying. If they're kind of dashed around everywhere, just here and there, then then you definitely know that uh, they'll be spawning anywhere because they could spawn right behind you because behind you there's an area that not many teammates, maybe just one or two, or they can spawn all the way on the opposite side of the map from where the largest generalization of your teammates are like a team deathmatch game. I know that's really hard to understand. It's kind of hard to explain spawns. It's kind of like teaching somebody to drive. But anyway, the game is about over, guys. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. And um, let's see the final score. The final score is... Uh, I can just check through here. Project Media. 33 and 4. Okay. Um, that's, that's probably what you're going to do when you get... Um, a 5 to 6 kill death ratio is probably around 30 kills. And I just got, like, it would have been a 33 and 2, but just, like, check that shit out. Yeah, what, what a garbage player. Anyways, um, I don't know if I'll have to cut, I see, like, the last frame of the video is, like, me checking through my, um, my, my titles. But yes, 33 and 4, consistent 5 to 1s, and, uh, I know that was not really a good episode, but I guarantee you, for the next episode, which is 10 plus KDRs, you guys will be amazed. Um, quick little announcement, guys. Uh, I'm working on a mini-edit. Hopefully, it's up tomorrow. It was going to be part of a bigger montage, but, you know, I just did some bad stuff. And also, uh, four really amazing clips got deleted. I don't know how they were, but one of them was a triple. Uh, another one was a kill feed. It was a four-man kill feed. And uh, the other one was a PTRS kill feed. And, uh, I don't know what the other one is. It was probably, like, two really good. I think it was the... I, no, actually, I think I got that clip. So, it was it was a no-scope one, but, um, I'm not going to spoil anything. But, in the future, there will be a better mini-edit, but it's called Orchestral. Um, or Orchestral, whatever you want to say. But, anyways, this video is way too long. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.